All right, Chris, this is a pretty significant uh, revelation from Senator Graham. Finally, by the way, he actually follows through on saying that he's going to release some information. Um, I don't know what, what the FBI could use as an excuse. What they could say was their justification for um, claiming that there was no issues with credibility when they knew there was. Uh, yes, I'd be very interested to hear what the excuse is, especially when you look at the actual language that's used in this in this smoking gun document. For example, the FBI claimed that Steele and uh, and Denchenko quote utilized reasonably sound intelligence tradecraft. Well, listen to this. Denchenko dismissed what he said as quote all but talk, hearsay, speculation, and congesture, and the whole sexual activity of the president was made in jest. It was a joke. A joke? So is the FBI saying that a joke is reasonably sound intelligence tradecraft? I don't think so. Well, it's something the FBI should be asked because it's bad enough that it's in this particular situation, but if that's what the FBI believes is reasonably sound tradecraft, my goodness, think about how they might be applying that to every other investigation that they've ever been involved in. I mean, this is, this is serious stuff. This Steele dossier, who, by the way, Christopher Steele, let's just back up a second. Christopher Steele is a former foreign intelligence agent. He was hired by Fusion GPS, who was hired by the DNC and Hillary Clinton to dig up dirt, write opposition research on President Trump. The FBI instead used this opposition research to target then-candidate Trump in his campaign to try to take him down and continued that after President Trump had won re-election, all the while knowing from almost every claim that was made in that dossier that it was inaccurate, false, partisan, and influenced by the Russians who were trying to disrupt our election. 